Hey all, welcome back again to your Unacademy Neat English channel. This is your HSP Baba, Chemistry Educator. A big breaking news, it's good or bad, that I don't know. But yes, really, it will change or blow your mind. See what the news is. Neat UZ Counseling 2023. It's 2023. What are the new changes? But it's not all about the students, those who have written their exam for Neat 2023. This is big breaking news for Neat 2024 students also. See how and why. Just try to understand. First was the news, big breaking news is. And then we will do the exact analysis of that news. Just come to this point. This point is the most important point. But before reaching to this point, let me show you this point. Let me zoom in so that it is visible to each and everyone. Just try to see to it. A candidate is allotted a seat in round three, but does not join. They may exit the NEET counselling with fee, but if you and won't be able to participate in any further rounds. It's okay, no problem till now. But we see this point. If a candidate is allotted a seat in the stray vacancy round, if you don't know about the stray vacancy round, let me tell you, it's the last round where you can get the government seat. But that seat may be of your choice or you can say, I'm going to ignore it. Now see what the point is. If a candidate is allotted a seat in the stray vacancy round, they must join the allotted seat college, otherwise they will be they will be deferred from the neat UZ exam for the next one year. Oh my God! Along with forfeiture of fees, this forfeiture of fees that is just the loss of money. But what they have said, see, what the point is? Oh my God! This is really. The most important point, D word from the NEET UZ exam for next one year. They will be D word from the NEET UZ exam for both next one year. Kids, if you have participated, if you have written NEET 2023 examination and your marks are just on the borderline, that means you're not sure about whether you're going to get government medical seat or not, then the students, if they are exactly, they have clear vision, whatever the government seat they are going to get, they are going to opt for it. Then there is no problem at all. But it's not that clear. It's not that, what to say, we can't have that clear mind. We are always in search of the best medical college and anyhow what was happening in the past time let me tell you that students were going up to the stray vacancy round just in seek of that they will get some good medical college and once they were not getting best medical college of their choice definitely it is not going to the best medical college because you are going to get that medical college in the stray vacancy round now, how it can be best college or the dream college. So they were just ignoring the seat and they were trying for the next year preparation. But see, with the point of government, the last seat, even if they are going to sell it in the management quota, they are going to get 1 crore, 1.5 crore or 2 crore rupees. That means if we have opted for the last government seat and that is not the dream seat and you are going to ignore it then governments government medical college that one seat if it's remaining vacant they are in huge loss 
So this was going to happen, kids. Now, what the government has decided, and this is going to be changed, definitely that you have to make your mind very clear that if you are going to appear to the stray vacancy round, this is for those students, if I talk about general category, if your marks are ranging from 590 to 603, 604, I can't be that much sure that what exactly the marks. But yes, if your marks are on the borderline, then just talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, make a chart that these are the colleges. And definitely, that can't be happen at that point of time, whether the, you are getting the stay vacancy round seat or not. Before that, you have to do this much of homework. Once if you have appeared for stray vacancy round, then you will not be having any choice whether to opt the medical college or to leave it. Because once if you have appeared to this stray vacancy round, then definitely you have to take, you have to opt that seat. Whether you are liking it or not liking it. This was happening in the past that 90% of the students, they were ignoring that seat and they will start preparing for the next year. But if you are preparing for the next year in the hope of best college, definitely you will get it. So better to leave the stay vacancy round and start preparing for it. But if your parents are saying, don't drop, don't take a drop because number of parents nowadays, they are saying that whatever you want to do, do it right now. Don't waste your one year. They don't know that is not the wasted. This is an investment. But anyhow, you talk to your parents, you sit with your parents and first decide my marks are on borderline what to do. Because once if you have appeared to the stray vacancy round and you have to join the allotted seat or college and if you're not going to do see otherwise they will be the bad from the neat ug exam for one year one year means a lot one year means a lot and one year after one year, there is counseling. You won't be able to sit in the further counseling because you won't be able to write the examination. And along with 40 feature of the fees, this fees is definitely there's huge loss of loss of fees for some students. Fees means a lot. So one side there is loss of fees, other side there is loss of full one year. So it's better to think and this is a big change. Big change means big change. You have to make it clear in your brain. Kids, for any other query, write down in the comment section. Definitely I'm here to reply all the answers of your questions. And while making this video, I'm not feeling good. I'm not happy because if I were in your place, it's a really very big task how to decide whether that seat is good or bad because no seat is good or bad if you are in UP and definitely if number of people they have told you that if you're going to south you won't be able to understand the language and if you are belonging to Kerala, Madras whatever the places south places then people must have told you that you won't be able to understand the language of up bihar maharashtra whatever the place so kids it's not that easy going away from home it may be possible that if one candidate is belonging to up that seat of up is not good but he will be or she will be wanting to have that seat and these people will not be thinking in their brain that they should go to south although that south seat must be better than this up seat or if you're belonging to south and whatever the seat in the stray vacancy round you are going to get you're not 
liking that seat and you want to go to the UP, but people, your parents, they are not allowing you. So it's a big decision. So sit with your parents before the stay vacancy round. Do a lot of homework and then only decide what to do, what not to do. All the best. Take care, kids. Jai Hind.